At last, after what seemed like enough adventure to fill a week, we reached the final day of our field study. Over in Crossbow State, they were busy preparing for today's keynote session at the trade conference. We spent the morning running through the Imperial Army's physical, tra physical fitness program alongside some of the soldiers. And after completing it, no easy task I might add, we sat down to a lukewarm redux of yesterday's lunch. <clears throat> that afternoon, during our special military science lecture, we were presented with the confidential report on the terrorists. If anything's about to happen, it's gonna go down on this day, I bet. The Imperial Liberation Front is in Crossbell? That's right, or at least. That's what the Intelligence Division believes. It looks like the known terrorist organization from Cavalry Republic has turned up in Crossbell too. Ain't no terror. The situation over there is pretty touch and go right now. I don't know. What are the authorities doing? Everything they can, naturally. However, operations are being handled solely by the Intelligence Division. They refuse to tell the Imperial Army anything. Just that they have trusted allies taking care of things. But who does the Intelligence Division trust? You gotta know something about this, right, Short Stack? Well, I do, but I can't really tell you anything. I guess it's not a breach of confidentiality to tell you they're a really strong munch, though. That's still pretty vague. I've got a few ideas. Anyway, there's not point in us. There's not much point in us worrying about that right now. The bigger issue is that our terrorists of the hour, the Imperial Liberation Front, are a bigger crew than we thought. Big enough to be in possession of state-of-the-art military airship, at least. Seriously? An airship? Can we soon reinforce the manufacturer then? Correct. Just how something that large found its way into the hands of insurgents is currently unknown. But it seems to be a high-speed model, different from the heavily armored types favored by the Imperial Army. I bet it's from the RF-26 series, which are a number of different models within that series though. But if they have an airship, that means they're going to be a whole lot more difficult to catch, doesn't it? That's exactly what it means. <clears throat> it's basically impossible to keep tabs on them as it is. With an airship in their possession, there's no telling when or where they'll pop up next. That's quite worrying, especially considering Prince Oliver is attending the conference. And Toa's in Crossbell right now, too. Yeah. Damn, now you got me worrying, too. I'll uh, take it easy. I don't think you have anything to worry about with Gramps and Lecter over there. Well, that aside, if the terrorist's attention is currently focused on Crossbell, does that mean the Empire is effectively safer right now? You raise a good point, Lara. They did target Prince, Princess Alfie during the Summer Festival last month. It's possible it's just a feint. Maybe they just want us to believe they're targeting the Chancellor. The Railway Military Police thought so too, which is why they've increased their security level here at home. The Emperor and everyone else connected to the Imperial family should be safe. They've also beefed up security anywhere that seems shorthanded. As well, <laughs> as well prepared as ever I seem. At any rate, you finally uncovered some information on the terrorist identities, correct? That's right, though once again, we have the Intelligence Division for that to thank. <laughs> if you turn your attention to the screen, please. Kitty. That's the man who kidnapped Princess Alphine and Elise in Himdaller. Not to mention trying to start a war with Calvin in the North Highlands. So who is he? His full name is... Mich Mitchell? Mikkel? Mikkel Gideon, I'm gonna call him Mikkel. He used to be an assistant professor at the Imperial Academy of Hindaller. A man? That man? A teacher? So, an academic. Right, his focus was political philosophy. Three years ago, he was dismissed from his position due to his intense criticism of Chancellor Osborne's hardline policies. Oh, so getting laid off set him on the road to terrorism? Well, it sounds like an actual reason the actual reason he was let go was because he was handling out he was handing out tracks and flyers in public. You'll find these kind of idealist at the heart of most terrorist groups though. In seating a group with their core ideology, they twisted to be even more militant and radical. You can't even reason with them either. Yeah, they just don't know when to give up. Sounds like other groups I know. <laughs> so do we know anything about the others? 
We crossed paths with what I can only assume were three of the key members last month in the dollar. Yes, S, V, and C. It seems like they haven't been able to dig much up on those three yet. Their strongest lead right now is that V may have belonged to a Jagger corpse. Interesting. He was toting around this machine gun that looked like it should have been mounted on a vehicle. Does he seem familiar to you, Fee? Mmm, not really. They are working on narrowing down the identity of S2, but it's too early to make any informed statements. The real unknown is their leader, C. Ah, the one in the visor helmet. I heard he was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Reem, Laura, and Fee simultaneously. I almost find that hard to believe. I don't. I imagine there are plenty of people in, er in the Empire who could do so. It goes without saying that the Radiant Blade Master could fend three of us off without much of a problem. I bet Gunmir and Shrek Terra and Major Netherheart could do it too. Hmm, I can't say for certain. Ha, <laughs> look at Mr. Modesty over here. The Major here is widely held to be one of the strongest up-and-coming officers in the entire army. I've heard people mention him right alongside Major Vander. Laying on a little thick, aren't we? Going by the family name, it seems safe to assume he's a practitioner of the Vander style of swordsmanship. No doubt a relative of Lieutenant General Zetches from Zender Gate. <clears throat> While I would question whether I could stand on equal footing with him, Major Vander is unquestionably strong. He was my classmate during my military academy years, and quite close to Prince Oliver as well. In fact, he's in Crockwell right now, serving as the Prince's bodyguard. Whoa. Well, that's reassuring, you know. But getting back to point, it's not just C we still know very little about. Their group as a whole, even their source of funding is a mystery. So, even if they're a no-show in Crossbell, I doubt we've heard the last of them. I call it coincidence or fate, but you've put the kibosh on their schemes twice now. It's entirely possible they've come to hold a personal grudge against you, so be careful. R right. Yeah, we'll be sure to keep that in mind. Bring it, I'll take you out too. Eventually, this ap the afternoon series of special lectures came to an end, and it was finally time to get a peek at Guerrilla Fortress infamous railway guns. You know, you'll now be shown to the area where the railway guns are housed. All of what you're about to see is highly classified. I presume you're aware of the protocol surrounding confidential intel? Yeah, say nothing. <laughs> I'm getting kind of nervous, me too. Guys, it's just the railway guns. I've seen them before, and they're nothing to get too all excited over. Orin, this is part of the field study. This part of the field study is mandatory for you. If you'd like to stay here and wait for us, that'd be more than okay. Jeez, I'm just kidding. I don't want to be left the only one left behind, honestly. Oh, excuse me a moment. This is Netherheart speaking. Yes, hello, Commander Walter? Wait, Mulder wants to speak to me? Of course, put him through. What could you possibly be calling about at a time like this? What? What's happening? Uh, is he taking a call from someone outside the fortress on his Arcus? Sure looks that way. Understood. We'll be on alert here as well. Yes, right. Take care out there. Did something happen in Crossbell? I'm afraid so. A short while ago, the skyscraper where the conference is taking place came under attack by the Imperial Liberation Front. The attack was carried out via airship. Fortunately, they were able to repel the terrorists, and Prince Oliver, Chancellor Auburn, and the others are unharmed. However, it's too early to tell if the danger has truly passed. They really did attack the conference. How foolish. But that's not all, is it? Something else strange happened. What was it? The terrorists were somehow able to gain access to the orbital net and manipulate the shutters that partitioned the building. Furthermore, they had with them a force of mechanical monsters. I don't like the sound of that. You found something like that in Legram, right? Yeah, we ran into one on the highway there. And they broke into the orbital net. Major, how much of Gorilla Fortress is connected to that network? At present, it's only used for inventory and equipment managing by the maintenance staff. What, what was that? A trimmer. It came from right below us. Below the hangar. What the hell? 
The Atoms! Ugh. What happened here? They just started moving. No one's inside. They just started moving on their own. The C units start malfunctioning? No, they couldn't have. What's a C unit? It's an automatic control unit we put on vehicles that are going to serve as targets in military exercises. Uh, how did C units end up attached to our most advanced tanks? This is really bad. I'm going to assess the situation. I need you here to fight the fires and assist the injured maintenance staff. Yes, sir. Please be careful out there. Uh, those tanks look like the exact same model, so I'm not sure how those tanks... Oh yeah, they do look a little different. This is crazy. Hold on a minute. Are automatic control systems really capable of that level of advanced maneuvering? No, they're definitely not. Our current technology isn't capable of anything near this advanced. But if you were able to apply tech using RKM, it suddenly becomes a whole lot more possible. Instructor, are you saying that the society might be involved in this? I'd say it's looking more likely by the minute. What are they? Isn't the training ground we visited yesterday out that way? Just what are they planning? What in the idios' his name is going on here? Why are unmanned tanks roving around blasting the hell out of this base on their own? Well, it seems that last night headquarters sent an order to engineers to fit those tanks with C units. Preposterous, I gave no such order. But well, never mind that. Right now, we need to focus on extinguishing the fires and quelling the situation. I sent a request to the assistant of the Fort Armored Division. Oh boy. Ugh. What should we do? I can't see us being able to catch up to them without a horse at the very least. But what's their goal? Are they trying to... What are they trying to accomplish here? Whatever it is, they definitely have some kind of game plan. We can't just stand aside and do nothing. Leave this to us. Isn't that... Dad. Why are you trying to stand on the tank like you all that coolness? You're not. Imperial Force Armored Division. Those seem like the exact same tank, so maybe you have a chance of taking those out. General, HQ's appraised me of the situation. Leave the rogue tanks to us. We can't rule out the possibility that they're a diversion. I want you all to stay here. Understood, sir. Thank you, General. Be careful, Dad. You too, Elliot. Fourth Armored Division, advance. Take out those out-of-control tanks by all means necessary. Your opponents are unmanned. There's no need to hold back. Yes, General. Wow, your dad really is something else, Elliot. Yeah, I admit. He is pretty cool when he takes charge like that. Well, it seems we no longer need to worry about the tanks, at least. But what are they after? That's the question of the hour, isn't it? We can't let our guard down just yet. Might I suggest we fall back to the fortress, Major? A prudent move, after we assess the level of damage inside. Hey, aren't those... What in the... Airships. The Imperial Liberation Front. Whoa, there's two of them. Damn it. They had another fourth line in wait. Ah, the hangar. Do they seriously think they can breach an impregnable fortress? They're just terrorists. Wipe them out. Right back at you. Ugh, completely destroyed. 
Yeah. Ouch. That looks like it hurt. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that would hurt. Getting smacked with one of those. Ugh. All right. Oh, I think Let's he's Let's get this done. party started then. We're headed I'm straight for the left like railway gun. If anyone gets in our way, fill them full of holes. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, what an Imperial Liberation Front! What's the Imperial Liberation Front doing here? I thought they were in Crossbell. <laughs> well, that is the main attraction. Ugh, you done? <laughs> they sure didn't put up much of a fight, did they? If you want to fight? Just wait till we reach you. Our mission is to support Comrade G over in Crossbell. Our target is the right railway gun. Let's show him some beautiful fireworks, shall we? Yes, ma'am. Oh. They're going for both the left and the right wings. It's the railway guns they're after. No. Are they going to fire them at the trade concerns where the Chancellor is? If a shot from one of the railway guns hits that building, it'll blow the place to smithereens. Damn it. So that's what they're after. The situation has escalated beyond the scope of your shield study. I want you to stand by here. No way! We can't just stand idle while these insurgents run amok. If you won't take us with you, when we take ourselves, we'll take action ourselves. Looks like one's luxury we don't have. Time's one luxury we don't have. I think the best is to have them help us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would be. Listen up, we're going back into the fortress. Group A and B, here with me. Let's do this. Mm. Eastern edge of the Erebonian Empire. Guerrilla Fortress Military Training Ground. Do you really think you would save behind those tanks? It's no it's use. No use. You can't even scratch them. Yeah, you can't. What's you happening? Who's in control of those things? You really think you save behind a tank like that? Armor division. We need backup from Lieutenant General Craig. If I'm not mistaken, this is what I thought it was, and this is where the prologue started us off. Looks like we've come full circle. Dang, man, they really did not do a very good job. <laughs> you would think they would put a bunch of a fight. This is awful. What happened here? How oh, terrible. I can smell smoke. Are they using gunpowder? They've completely blindsided us. It appears that everything else they've done today was to serve as a decoy, even making the tanks go haywire. Right. It looks like their real target was the railway guns all along. Which means they must be serious about targeting that trade conference in Crossbell City. They wouldn't! How long can they possibly sink? So, they're intent on taking the Chancellor's head after all. Resorting to such wanton violence? This is absolutely outrageous. Huh, this does look kind of bad. Understatement of the year. <sighs> Please, let us help. We don't know if reinforcements are on the way, and it doesn't look like we have much time left. 
We have to stop them before they can activate the railway guns. Green's right. I don't know how much we can really do, but considering the alternative, we have to try. Right. I'm not about to let those terrorists have their way. <sighs> Looks like any attempt to convince you otherwise would fall on deaf ears. All right. Green, you and the rest of Group A are with me. Group B, you'll be under the command of Major Nightheart. One group will secure the gun in the right wing. The other group will secure the left. This is an actual combat situation with real lives at stake. I expect the best from each of you. Yes, sir. All right, Class 7. Our objective is to stop the activation of the railway guns. We've learned a lot at the Academy. It's time to put that knowledge to the test. Yes. Good. Sarah joined the party. While she is assigned to the active battle party, the number of support members is increased to three. You can now use burst link attack. An attack on all enemies performed by two link pairs, which consumes the bravery points you gain from repeated assist attacks per square when link appears. Keep moving. I'm gonna charge stage, honey. Let's just go ahead and use that. Here they come. <gasps> Just like that thing we fought during our field study. Mechanical monstrosities. Save the talking for later. We need to take these things out. Got it. Enemy sighted. Take them out. My turn. The way these things fight is about a whole bunch of just area of effect rapid shooting. <laughs> Thank you very much. Leave it to me. Go! 
Those things were the same as the one we fought outside the Graham. It seems a large number of them are on the loose inside the fortress. I'm guessing that's what got the soldiers we just saw, too. Seems so. Hmm. They definitely look more like orbly powered archaisms than monsters. So these are archaisms. Are you certain, Instructor? Yeah. They're a kind of autonomous weapon made by a rather unsavory group. And a real pain to deal with, too. We need to hurry, but keep your wits about you. All right. Good. I'll go back to the orbital station right quick and uh, recharge them instead of using my items. But uh, yeah, with the way those things fight, those those scatter shots. Seems I'm going to need. Focus more on checking them out faster. Okay, so that is going to be yeah, a long walk off path. So looks like we need to head up here. Yeah. I kind of wish that thing had a bit more. You no. Know, Enemy sighted. Take them out. Of course. No escape! Yeah. Go! Second form! Damn! Yeah. My turn! Yeah. Okay, burning daylight! Seems to be a treasure chest here. I feel like games like this give you everything you're going to need for the battles ahead in the dungeons that you're going to be in or in the town for the dungeon you're being in. And I'm not talking about just this game in general. I feel like we games like this period do that. Go! Alright, let's do this! You got it! Okay. Here goes. My turn. Arcus, activate. Okay. Dance, flames. Astro Flare. It's a funny time to give me zero hearts. <laughs> Delay would be too high. 
I was hoping it's I would have been turn. able to pull that off. So that Laura's gaze would go. But her stay turn alert, came everyone. Around. But the delay would have activated past Laura's turn. Would have made it activated past Laura's turn, so it would have been a waste. It seems this is a storage area. Plenty of archaisms wandering around here. <laughs> I actually expected uh, Sarah to be at a higher level than 55. Because that's so close to what level we're on right now. I think Green is like 47. The advantage is ours. It's kind of why I expected more. But I guess with all played right, that actually fits. Alright, let's do this! Right, Leave it to me! Okay. Yeah. My turn. Leave it to me. Lights out for them. Good work. That should suffice. with the row it guns work in I seem like I, I feel like I'm going in the right direction. This is actually just they're actually just very lucky. Because I don't think they knew that they no, they didn't know that they were going to be attacking the fortress. And they just happened to be here to be able to try to stop them. The advantage is ours. They're very lucky. My turn. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's do this. Right, Leave it to me. It's my turn. Right. One. Off guard, and one for me. My turn. It's my turn. I'm gonna save those points for whatever boss we need to fight. The over, but stay alert, everyone. I'm just getting started. I feel like that's better. Oh, you got a new skill, and I clicked too fast. I do that a lot. Oh, huh? that's a beautiful looking treasure chest. Flare bomb. Hero armor base. Relay area. Freight platform. I feel like we should be going to the relay area. We finally got around to the other side. The path to the right leads deeper into the fort. Let's keep moving. I had planned on doing that from the get-go, guys. We'll have to fight our way through. I didn't expect to oh, do no, that fast. Okay, I'm not sure what happened, but my entire while recording. All right, let's do this. You got leave it to my me. screen just went black on my PlayStation. And went back my to turn. the title screen. I don't know what happened at all. I have no clue. It's my turn. 
So I had to do the entire dungeon over again. Right. Huh? Off guard. And one for me. Seriously, that's the best your critical damage can do. You can quit while you're ahead. Leave it to me. Non huh? all damage. Okay. about that. Like, I don't even know what happened. But my entire PlayStation decided to restart. Oh, that's just hilarious. It just, look where we are. Oh, an Ormond charging station! That door near it looks like it leads outside. Probably an external corridor. Everyone, follow me. That's just hilarious. Because you know what? When he did this and I had to redo the dungeon, this would have actually been where I would have been stopping the episode. I still have to stop it here. <laughs> Which is just sad and hilarious at the same time. I don't know what happened, but I just had to redo the entire dungeon. I have to, I'm going to have one heck of an edit here because... With all of that's gone down in this episode, not to mention... I had to redo everything. I never stopped recording, so I don't even know if the recording is still, you know, safe. I might have to have to redo the entire episode. I sure hope not. I hope that didn't damage my recording at all. Because, uh, well, that is all the time we have for this episode of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. If you like this episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all right. on the next episode.